Hello beautiful people. It's Sherry Moulton back with another video. We are going to try my bling bling paintings like this one. We're going to try using Mod Podge. Now I did a little trial and error. I personally wasn't happy but it can be done. Um, it had to be done in stages. Now this one I did love the navy blue and I use the um, recollections apparently it's called recollections sorry I am mispronouncing things again apparently it's annoying but anyways um, this one is what I used instead of the chunky glass because I know it ain't going to hold, it's hardly holding this, let alone the chunky glass. So that would be my suggestion. So today I'm going to try it again with the camera rolling and I'm going to use Mod Podge. This one is gloss luster, but it doesn't, I don't think it really much matters what kind you use. Um, I am using, I'm going to try to keep it the right way, Recollections. This one is fine glass glitter and it is antique silver, if I'm correct. Vintage silver. I have some of Martha Stewart's, ah, oh, the lid's half open. My goodness, it won't close. Mar Martha Stewart's, um, I don't know why they put them on the labels like this because I am bad, I have very bad sight. Um, this one is fine glitter and it's turquoise. I'm gonna, well, I'll show you the color I painted. This is what we're gonna work with. So this will be pretty, turquoise. Um, I might bring in some of this. We'll see if I have, if I'm able to keep it on. Um, I did a second coat of the Mod Podge and it did not stay very well. And again, this has been dried for four days. It's still coming off. So it's, like I said, it's whatever you guys prefer. This is Recollections um, Chunky Glitter. This one is Marine. It's gorgeous. Um, just because of the colors. This one we're gonna throw in. It's also the Recollections. It is especially glitter. This one is Caribbean. See, it's nice. They put it so you can read it on the back. <laughs> for this uh, blind lady. And then I'm using the um, Recollections um, Chunky Glitter. This one is Bling. Mind you, there's no silver in here, so I don't really have to do the silver, but we'll see. And then I also have the Recollections, the um, Bling Fine Glitter. I have one more. Where did I put it? It is... Uh, over here I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know no I think we'll stick with the other ones this one's pretty too it is actually called <laughs> I can't read it again um wow I'm gonna hold it up because for some reason it picks up on the camera but not I can't read it so anyways it is basically um shades of blue and silver but I think we'll stick with these ones. So with that being said, um, I've got my trusty dollar store sponge. I poured some of my Mod Podge on a plate and I'm going to do, see, I spray painted. This is, let me grab the two colors and then that way you know what they are. This one is Brilliant Blue. And then this side is Satin Oasis Blue. So, did that. Um, I'm gonna come up with another video on showing you guys how I spray paint. That's coming up as well. So, 
anyways, so let's get at it. We are going to do what I do with the resin. I'm gonna come down the center, but I'm using my sponge instead of just pouring it on. And I just, I, I'm the type of person I'd rather do something once instead of um, going over and going over and going over. And that's what I found you had to do with the Mod Podge. I'm just gonna stipple it up and down so you can get the effect. I found it didn't stick very well to, like you, you don't get the same. And maybe, like I said, it was my first time doing it. So now that I've realized And I came heavy with the um, the broken glass glitter or the fine glass glitter. And maybe I should not have. That was my other learning curve, I think. And then when I went to put everything else on, just used to the resin, everything just adheres at one shot. So I'm doing that all at once as opposed to doing it three or four times. All right, that's done. Now, this is my fine glass glitter. I'm gonna shimmy you this way just so I can get at a proper angle for me. Now I'm gonna come and I'm not gonna try, <sighs> try to go as light as I can with this. Cause this I think is where I, my problem was. I'm gonna start in the center. I'm just so used to going really heavy with the glass in the middle. And you gotta leave room on the glue so that there's, here I'm gonna use my hand. You gotta use room on the glue. Leave room on the glue, my apologies, holy lifting. I've only had one coffee. Um, yeah, you gotta leave room on the glue so that something else will stick to it. And I think that's what my issues was. So I'm going to do that. I think that looks pretty even. Maybe I'll come a little bit more down the center. And I hate to, for what you get with this one, it's more expensive. So I don't know, try to be frugal because you know, not everybody can afford. Oh, oh, I'm glad we're in that stage when the lid fell. Um, yeah, because not everybody can afford expensive stuff, right? All the time. We can splurge with certain things when we know. Okay, I'm going to bring you back. I'm just going to give it a pat. I don't know. Didn't make a difference for me when I did it last time. So now I'm going to come back with, I think this blue is be pretty. So again, I'm going to tilt you back. Let's see what happens. Nope, got to use the other one. Oh, I don't want to do it that way. Again, I'll put it in my hand. And see, this glitter is so, it's nice and thick, this glitter. So it's hard. It doesn't really want to put some more down the center so that it looks even. And again, I'm going to have these pieces, I'll show you on the other one, where there's no glitter. So I'm going to come back with the fine blue. We'll do the fine blue, being that there's no real silver in here, except for the glass. All right, here we go. Hopefully this will stick to the, the glass. The glue. Sorry, I'm speaking in weird tongues today. I was down here the other day and I turned off my little heater because it was so hot when I came home the last time. And now it's like freezing down here again. I think we're going from one extreme to the other here in Ontario. Anyway, raining again today. All right, let's a little bit here on the edge where I got some glue there. A little bit over here where there's some glue. You want to cover it. 
and hopefully, cross our fingers, it all sticks. Like I said, I hate reapplying stuff just to me. I would rather do it and get it done. See, again, I'm still brushing and it's coming off, but and again, it does the same with this. I'm going to do it on this way. Like this, the odd piece will come off. But like, it's there. So. And I clean these off at least three times before. So as far as, as long as no one is actually up there rubbing it, which my personal opinion, you shouldn't be touching it anyways, right? It's a piece of art, it's on the wall. You don't go into a, uh, I know that's not galleries, but I mean, you don't go into a gallery and go, oh, look at that, isn't that beautiful? And rub your hands all over it. It's just, to me, it's, uh, I love the visual effect of that broken glass with no glitter on it. It's that raw look, but everyone else is different. So I get it if you, you know, have little kids that might run their hands on it and all that jazz. So. Anyways, I'm gonna let this dry and we will come back in a couple hours to see how it is. Be back in a bit. All right, we're back. We're gonna give it a shake, shake, shake and see what happens. See what's left. I put my puppy pad upside down. Okay, that's a better, better result than the last one. Let me see. Get my brush. So I think it's possible that you could do this with the Mod Podge, but you'd have to go with the smaller, with the smaller um, glitter, the glass. My apologies. This has actually turned out quite nice. So I'm going to let that sit a little bit. Let's see. It is just a sparkly because it's all the same, basically. So question being, yes, you can. But I would, like I said, instead of going with my, the big chunky, like, look how thick, like, I don't know. Can you see? Like, it's quite... See how raised that is off there? It, it's chunky. And I'm 100% sure that the um, the Mod Podge would not hold that. So, but it's still quite blingy. And it is, it's glass. It's the broken glass, right? But see, I'm finding, can you see where it's no, um, you see the shiny spots? Where there's no glitter like down here you know so you have to really make sure and down here that you cover that with glitter so yeah and that's with one applying or one layer of the glitter is where with this one i went really crazy with the the glass like I would have done in the other one with the resin. So it was a, live, a learning curve for me. If I can get my mouth around my words today. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. So there you go. That's the answer to everyone's, the famous question off my video. <laughs> can I use Mod Podge or glue as opposed to the resin? So here we go. Yes, you can. So. With that being said, hopefully everyone's having a wonderful day. And uh, yeah. if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the bell so you get notifications. And hope everyone has a wonderful day. And again, thanks, thanks, thanks so much for subscribing. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.